Yes, it's true. The grocery checkout lane is likely to be one of the first places we'll see future generations of intelligent robots. PR2 is way smarter than his cousins working on factory production lines, performing highly repetitious tasks. Nope, these robots are clever. One of the challenges that the robots face today is to still be able to perceive the environment and act in those environments even if the situation changes slightly. Yes, robots that think for themselves. But don't worry, there's nothing super sci-fi about them and they won't try to kill you. Well, they might, but only by accident. That's why students at Cornell University are teaching Baxter to use common sense when handling a sharp instrument, and for that matter, a fragile one too. Every time Baxter makes a wrong move, his human handler realigns the arm, until the robot associates a whole category of items with an appropriate pathway. And it learns to distinguish between objects like for example, if it is moving a screwdriver, then it should learn that it should not poke us with a screwdriver. Similarly, when it is moving an egg carton, then it should learn that, and that eggs are fragile and it should move them carefully close to the surface of the table. Getting a robot to recognize whatever it sees with sensors and cameras is still a challenge. It works best with high color contrast. Whilst machines have been able to grab predetermined objects for decades, when it comes to random items, there is still a need for better sensors near the claws to interpret more accurately what is on the table. We have 3D cameras, we have like, we'd, have, we'd be able to buy a connect that we can mount on the head. We don't yet have them miniaturized to the point where we could put it on the, uh, the arm on the end of the robot. We have things like sonars, but sonar doesn't really work well enough, I think, to do something like this. This robot has been in the lab for about two years, and like any youngster, he's anxious to learn how to write. He's practicing. But his family here tell me that if he's a good boy and eats all his algorithms, then one day he'll master it. Robot researchers have most recently been focusing on anticipation. It's something humans do every few minutes, but for a robot it involves crazily complex calculations. After watching videos of common human movements, robots in this lab have achieved a 75% success rate determining what will happen in the next three seconds of an activity. But anything longer, and the success rate drops dramatically. Oh, the way we do it is we have a, collect a lot of data where humans are performing activities, and it learns a model of the activities that, uh, for example, someone's reaching a cup, then most likely they will either pick the cup to drink or move it to another place. So will robots ever take over the world and try to wipe out humans for good? Yes, probably, but not in our lifetimes. Few. It's more likely they'll be integrated harmoniously into specific settings, helping someone stack supermarket shelves, for example. As they become more affordable in labs around the world, so the rate of research will likely pick up speed.